Hello, my name is Travis Dula. I'm a full stack web developer and I served in the United States Marines as an infantryman from 2010 to 2014. This program is my two week sprint capstone project from Dev Code Camp, the ticket tracker. It is a user entered ticket slash bug slash issue tracker that a lot, if not all companies have come across when handling customer submitted problems. I have pre-entered data to show how this type of program can be used by a wide variety of companies with all sorts of different issues. My biggest, most difficult feature is the three different views you get depending on what type of user is logged in, a customer, an engineer, or moderator. This project uses Python, Django REST framework, MySQL, Postman, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, React, Axios, Material UI, Git, and GitHub, and my editor that I used was Visual Studio Code. I was thinking about using Bootstrap or Material UI, but then I realized that since Material UI, you get a lot of customization, and I had so much time to stylize my front end that Material UI was the best choice. So diving straight into it, we come to the login page. Uh, I have a pre-registered user called Mike Robertson, and we will log in as them. And Mike Robertson is a customer. So upon logging in, we see our welcome screen, uh, welcome message, and we see our list of tickets. Each ticket has a posted by the customer, the name of the ticket, who it's been assigned to, the priority, status, and deadline. When you click the down arrow, you get to see a description that is entered initially by the customer. And later it gets updated by engineers or moderators, depending on who is working on it. The next feature we have are filters. So as a customer, we have completed filters, which show which tickets have been updated their status to finished. And this one, the status is submitted, just means that we need to go back and change this so that when the user logs in, they get to see that this ticket has been submitted or has been finished instead of submitted. Well, let's reload our initial list and we can go back and see the active. These would be the tickets that are either submitted or in progress, essentially the ones that have not been finished. Well, say as a customer, we come to this and there's just a hundred tickets on here. So maybe we wanna look through them and see if there's anything that's got missing or misspellings. So let's search up miss. And upon searching miss, we see the tickets that have missing or miss or misspellings, missing pieces, missing grade, that kind of stuff. But as a customer, we see that the issue that we have has not been submitted. So we're gonna create a new ticket. And this ticket is about a missing drink. Missing drink. I don't know about you, but I've personally had food delivered to me and they've always forgotten a drink. So we'll say forgot drink when delivering food. And maybe not the most urgent thing in the world. I can go, I can just drink water or something. So we'll just put it as a two. And due date, I would like it to be done today, but it'd be okay if it was done tomorrow. So we hit create, it reloads our table, and we can go down to the bottom. We see that our missing drink has been posted by Mike Robertson. And we see it hasn't been assigned to anybody, but that just means that the ticket moderator needs to log in and assign this to somebody. And that finishes off the view for the customer. So we go and log out and we can log in as our engineer who is T Wayne. And the login is him with his password. And we see a different view. I figured for a customer having a card view and a more stylized view made more sense just because the customer didn't need to see just the information stacked on each other. Whereas as an engineer or moderator, having the information all out in the open is kind of the way to go. Now, as an engineer, you also have the same search bar, which operates the same, and you have a filter, but it's a different filter. These filters will show the tickets that have been assigned to the logged in engineer. And then we can further filter that again and go by priority, highest to lowest, just so you know which ticket is done, which ticket needs to be worked on next. Next, we have the 
edit button. So we go to a ticket who, let's say, we'll go down to this ticket as a test. And we'll say that, well, it was just a test ticket. It's probably finished. Let's go in and we hit the finish button and we save. It's been updated to, yes, it's done. Everything works. Last feature as an engineer that you get to see is the percentage of tickets that are past the deadline and have been completed on time. So let's take a look at the list of tickets and we see that 50% of four means that two of these tickets have been completed on time by their deadline. And two of them are past their deadline and maybe either they've been completed past their deadline or they were not completed past their deadline. And that is the list of or the view for the engineers. And the last view that we get to see is that of the ticket moderator. This would be assigned to a senior or somebody that's more an administrative. So we have our search bar, just like with everyone else. We have our filter, just like with engineers. We get the list of all of the tickets. We have our edit button but we also have a delete button. So down here in the case of our load time, John Smith seems to have submitted the same ticket twice. Maybe in fact, his page did take too long time, too long to load. So it timed out. So he didn't think it got submitted. So he submitted it twice. So as an administrator, we go in and we see that, huh, these are the exact same ticket. He didn't mean to do that twice. Let's go in and delete this. We hit delete, we get a confirmation so that we know that we're deleting the one ticket and not like the entire database, like somebody's done in the past. We hit OK, and that ticket is deleted from the database. Now, further down, we get our percentage of tickets past deadline, percentage of tickets completed on time, just like with engineers. And last, we come to the assigned tickets feature. As a moderator, we get to see who is assigned to how many tickets and who is assigned to what ticket. So based on this ticket, we see that Batman has four tickets assigned to him. Model Orator, which is the moderator that has logged in right now, only has three tickets and Thomas Wayne has four as well. So we come down to the unassigned tickets table and let's get that load time ticket from John Smith. Let's get him assigned to Model Orator 2. So when we hit this assign button, this ticket should disappear from this unassigned tickets, be put in the assigned tickets and assigned to model orator two. So let's go ahead and see if that works. It comes out of here, gets added to this ticket list and we see load time, page takes too long and added to model raiders list. Now, future iterations of this project, I was thinking while I was styling, that having the description be an expandable area that maybe we see the name of the engineer or moderator that's worked on it and then has an update and then when the update was made would be beneficial. So in a future iteration of this project, I think I will be adding that. And that wraps up all my features of my project. Again, my name's Travis Dula. Thanks for watching.